Welcome to a presentation on border area development between the Malaysian state of Sarawak and the Indonesian province of West Kalimantan on the shipbuilding industry. The series is part of a comprehensive assessment of cross-border value chains between Sarawak and West Kalimantan. The study supports development of the West Borneo Economic Corridor in the Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, East ASEAN Growth Area, or BM Piaga. We hope that you'll enjoy this overview of the project. If you want more information, you can find details in the complete study called Pre-Feasibility Study of Sarawak West Kalimantan Cross-Border Value Change which is available on the internet. As an archipelago nation, Indonesia has over 1,800 ports catering to industries like petroleum, fertilizer, wood products, cement, and mineral extraction industries. Of these, over 100 ports are designed as commercial. West Kalimantan's large number of rivers make ferry transport critical to connectivity for both people and goods. The need for a wide range of ships to transport cargo and passengers is therefore large. Ferries are used for trucks to carry cargo to their destinations, and people use ferries to travel from their homes to work or markets. The cost of using ferries is low and allows people to avoid congestion of bridges during rush hour. West Kalimantan has several ports along its western coast bordering the Karimata Strait in Natura Sea. They include those of Ketapang, Pemangkat, Sintet, Singawang. But Pontianak Port dominates all others in terms of the number of shipping arrivals. Nevertheless, the port has limited capacity for the increasing number of ships arriving in container storage. The government recently announced the construction of a new port at Kijin. The government of Indonesia has prioritized development and expansion of the country's domestic shipbuilding industry as part of a broader effort to strengthen the country's maritime capabilities. To that end, the government has decreed that all government and state-owned companies must procure vessels that are locally built. Sarawak has four primary ports located in Kuching, Cebu, Bintulu, and Miri. The busiest seaport at Bintulu is under the jurisdiction of the Malaysian federal government and mainly handles liquid natural gas or LNG and regular cargo. The remaining ports are under the respective state port authorities. Sarawak has 55 navigable river networks with a combined length of 3,300 kilometers. For centuries, the rivers of Sarawak have been a primary means of transport as well as route for timber and other agricultural goods moving downstream for export at the country's major ports. The manufacturing process for vessels of steel and aluminum is similar. The first stage involves consolidation of the material inputs for shipbuilding in the second stage, the design process is carried out within the plant and usually involves highly sophisticated and dedicated design software programs. The third stage of the manufacturing process involves hull fabrication. It takes place in the naval workyard where sheet metal and sections are used for the construction of the hull. The next stage consists of operations for loading and installing machinery and fitting out and that can be carried out either on solid ground or after launching. 
The last stage of the manufacturing cycle involves seat trials, which test the propulsion system, operability, and control equipment and safety systems for navigation. In West Kalimantan, shipbuilding has traditionally been one of the leading industries of the province. Steadfast Marine in Pontianak has helped advance Indonesia's maritime ambitions through wide-ranging technology transfers from the Damon Shipyards Group. Steadfast's operations are located in an area of 56,000 square meters beside the Kapuas River. There are three launching skids and one slipway to support the line operations. There are also four outdoor lifting supports. Raymond is a Netherlands headquartered company with extensive experience in building vessels throughout the world. The company is involved not only in shipbuilding, but also in maintenance and repair activities. Moreover, West Kalimantan is one of 12 potential areas that have been identified by the Indonesian Investment Coordinating Board, or BKPM, as having a high potential for investment. In flying to Cebu, one realizes the grandeur of the state of Sarawak and the vastness of the river system that traverses the land. Little wonder then that maritime navigation plays such an important role. In Sarawak, the Center of Shipbuilding and Repair Services is located in Cebu. Gaia Coastal Group of Companies is representative of the large number of shipbuilding and repair services in Cebu. In Cebu, the Singkyong Hong Dockyard is part of the Jaya Coastal Group. The group offers building, operating, and repair services as a one-stop shop marine solution. In line with the need for river-based ferry and transport vessels in Sarawak, the group has recently built a 36-meter river-going landing craft and a 25-ton bowling pull ASD tug built for Bintulu Port. Among the services offered are 3D AutoCAD shipbuilding design and modeling, vessel dry docking, and vessel maintenance and repair that covers welding and cutting, high-pressure freshwater cleaning, sand blasting, above and below waterline coating, marine electronic repair, marine class inspection, vessel woodwork refurnishing, propeller repair and installation, marine maintenance and overhauling, vessel retrofitting. They also provide vessel upslip with slipways of 500 tons and 800 tons, new ship launching, and tug operation services. The three critical determinants of international competitiveness in shipbuilding are first, economies of scale in the production and maintenance of vessels, as for example, the Jaya Coastal Group that is made up of five flagship companies. Second, use of technologically sophisticated design and manufacturing software, as well as hardware equipment for building and construction. And third, skilled labor, specialized professionals, and artisans. The first two factors are the reason why successful shipbuilders in Sarawak and West Kalimantan operate as conglomerates. That factor, that is skilled labor, is the reason why companies are located in West Kalimantan where specialists abound, and in the Cebu area of Sarawak, which has a long history of shipbuilding and workers' knowledge in the maritime industry. Proximity of shipbuilding companies and nearness to their input components has been shown to reduce costs and lead to greater productivity. Company managers from Sarawak and West Kalimantan have accordingly expressed an interest in cross-border collaboration with companies, and the resumption of trade in 2018 between the two territories 
will undoubtedly pave the way to make that collaboration a reality. In practical terms, however, collaboration will depend on contacts between company managers since much of business operations often depend on person-to-person -person meetings that build on trust and long-term relationships. For more details on the resumption of cross-border trade between Sarawak and West Kalimantan, see our earlier video on Sarawak-West Kalimantan border crossings in this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with industry-specific projects on cross-border value chains. We cover value chains from a practitioner's point of view and also include cost-benefit analysis and project appraisal using non-monetary criteria.